Ben? What? Come here. Right across the river, right there. Does that not look like someone literally just standing there? Staring at us? Yeah. Laura, did you drown in the pond behind me? Shut up, shut up. Demon her, Laura. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, sh oh my yeah, god, camera. Yeah, holy. I can wholeheartedly say this was one of, if not the most terrifying night of my entire life, hands down. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready for our night, our camping trip inside of the Devil's Forest, the infamous Devil's Forest. Um, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. We've yeah. already experienced some pretty damn creepy things and uh, yeah, so we just set up our tent we're right next to this pond right here. And the reason why we're at this pond ties into the dark history of this place. But, man, you're, you're excited, Ben? Yeah, yeah, first uh, first video back. And here uh -huh. we are in uh, one of the damn scariest places in the world. Yeah, so. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another crazy, scary video. What you're about to watch is our first ever camping video where Ben and I went to the Devil's Forest and had a horrifying experience. Now, in this video too, I get a little personal. I talk about an exorcism that I had when I was younger. So for those who don't know, I was having these, these really rough dreams at a really young age and it just like consumed me. And dude, I was a messed up kid for a pretty long time and I had to get like the Muslim equivalent of an exorcism. And I explained that a little bit in today's video too. But this is a re-upload. You guys are loving the re-uploads here. I'm going to keep them coming. But I do have some uh, newer vlogs maybe dropping here and there. I have a new video coming on the main channel Sunday. And it is my favorite video of all time. Haunted house and a haunted cornfield. Get ready. Big ghost at home video. But with all that being said, if you guys are excited, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And hope you guys enjoy. Just to give you guys a little bit of a recap, for those who don't know much about this place, uh, we've been filming here for quite some time now. Um, all types of videos and whatnot, but we always wanted to stay here overnight camp and see if we could experience anything paranormal, otherworldly, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And within minutes of us setting up our tent, we, we were recording like for our, the vlog channel and stuff, we're hearing rumbling coming like throughout the forest, mm -hmm. high-pitched screams. Like, I'll put some of that on screen right here. And... You know, something must have happened, yep. you know, like, and then Ben gets messages, I get messages, yep. and it... Okay. <laughs> All right. What? Hello? It, it was wild, so, like, it's pretty, pretty interesting stuff's going on. Uh, we got the tent set up, we got our chairs set up, cooler, inside the tent we have a generator, sleeping bags, um, all the sorts of night, other cameras, night vision cameras. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nuts. And we also have some ghost equipment, Ouija yes. boards, spear boxes. It you works. guys know the drill. So, yeah, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to smash that like button. If this video gets, I'm going to say 10,000 likes. Keep it nice and fresh. 10,000 likes, we will do more camping videos. You let us know where you want us to do them. Blair Witch Forest, Pokemoke Forest, mm -hmm. you name it, we'll do it. Um, An hour? It's like dogs? Coyotes, maybe? Oh. Yes. 150% yes. <laughs> Those are <laughs> coyotes. That's a lot of them. Why do we. Bro. Listen? What the f? Oh my god. <laughs> what the f? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh. Let's get into a little bit of the history of this place really quick just to refresh your guys' memories. Thousands of people have passed on this land. This land is rumored to be cursed. Now, there's not much information about this place that we found anywhere. 
apart from what a gentleman told us that lives in the Amish community nearby. So the Amish community nearby is a pretty, it's a pretty large sized community. They live in cabins and all the sorts throughout this area. We were actually there speaking to the gentleman. Uh, they asked us respectfully not to film there. And we, you know, obviously we don't want to invade their mm. privacy and stuff like that. But uh, he told us about some of the history here and it's pretty damn crazy. So, you know, I'm trying to remember this all to my ability. He gave us a lot of information, a lot. but to put it strongly, it was during the time of like the Salem witch trials and even before that, and very similar to the Salem witch trials, this was a period of time where if the people that lived here initially thought that the people coming in or anybody for that matter were weird or different, just different from them, mm -hmm. they would accuse them of being witches and then they would put them to the test. They would kill them off. And one of the things they would do is right at this exact pond right here, they would tie weights to their ankles and put them in the pond and see if they float or not. If they floated, they were deemed to be a witch. If they drowned, they were deemed to be a human, but by then it was already too late. They were dead. So that was just like a oopsie type situation back in the day. <laughs> that's nuts bro it's crazy think to think about, about it? that yeah either uh, way you're guilty either way you're getting in trouble ain't that the truth oh, geez. so we decided it would be a good area to see if we get any sort of like experiences or any sort of like communication with the other world or yep. maybe someone from that era right by the pond right so we picked this area it seems as if there's already a campsite going on so yeah. we just decided to come here i don't know if we'll be able to start a fire just because it's a little it's thunderstorming yeah we but had plans but now it's kind of it actually didn't even say that it was gonna rain it kind of just decided to when we got here yeah <laughs> you yeah. know it's one of yeah. those things it did today was supposed to be nice um so yeah uh we are going to see what types of things we can experience we're going to try to attempt to spend the next 24 hours here uh it's just ben and i and you know, at least hopefully it is mm. we're hearing yeah, things true. across the pond already or maybe from the pond because it did sound like a voice coming from mm. the pond. You know it what did. I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm more concerned, honestly, with the coyotes. That is true, too, yeah. But we, we are weaponized today. We are weaponized. I will say. I'm um, ready. So, just to give you guys a little uh, MTV crib situation, what's going on? I got our chairs, got our cooler. Um, we have more drinks all the way back in the car. So, if we want to make a trip, if we run out, all right, we have some. I don't know, cider, donut yeah, cider, donut we have cider. energy drinks, we have all sorts of things. Because we want to, we definitely want to see. Bro, what the hell is going on? That sounds like you're swimming walking. Not only that, but I just heard like a voice. Here, check this area out a little bit. I will say, if you guys uh, want to see some of like the behind the scenes stuff on this camping trip, make sure to subscribe to the second channel. Because even while we were setting up the tent, we were hearing all sorts of crazy things. Yeah. So that will be on the screen right here or the link down in the description below. We were trying to make like a lighthearted, fun video and we kept on hearing shit. <laughs> it just wasn't happening. It yeah. wasn't happening. We tried. Uh, is, that, is that... What is... What? Yo, don't like... Uh, don't bears do that? I don't know. What is they mark up trees or whatever. All right, well, I figured might as well start introducing ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, spirits of this forest. My name is Jazz, Yasko, whatever you'd like to call me. I'm here with my buddy, Ben. Hello. And we're trying to communicate with you. If you could come forward in any sort of way, make some sort of sound, um, say something to us. We've already heard some sort of voices. We don't know if it was you. Um, please feel free to come forward and, you know. From the pond. Bro, what is going on? I don't know. I'm getting like severe horror movie vibes right no, now. No, I know. 
kind of want to go down closer to the pond maybe maybe later tonight or something yeah i feel like that's where we're hearing most of the stuff coming from too mm -hmm. no um it is getting really cold right now so i'm gonna get my jacket and um maybe we should start slow maybe with like the spear box yeah and work our way up with the ouija board and mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah uh we have a night vision camera that's gonna be connected to a generator so it's gonna record us sleeping all sorts of things so just in case anything happens overnight mm -hmm. we have that as well so um One thing I'm worried about, Ben, is if, obviously, when he told us the story, he also mentioned the demon Nama. And essentially, the demon Nama obviously wiped out a big portion of the people that lived here as well. Mm -hmm. And, like, what if we do come in contact with something, like, demonic or something, like, you know? I'm so that's, to... yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, we're we're kind of asking for it, I guess. I but... think, um... We're so far deep in this forest to the point where like driving in here took probably about 30 minutes. And then on top of that, we didn't see a single soul coming here. No. So, man, what is going on? Alrighty. Well, um, yeah, let's go back. I'm gonna go get my jacket and stuff. And then we're gonna start with some yeah. ghost equipment. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it guys. All right, get ready. Smash the like button if you haven't already or else. See you guys. It's a more personal thing, and that, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to connect you guys on a more personal basis, whereas, like, mm. some people just, you know, they do their thing and they. What the f is that? Bro, it sounded like something was standing right behind you. Like, almost like. Yeah. What's that? What the? I keep on thinking you're gonna look over there and there's gonna be a person standing there. Right, shit my we pants. just switched from the vlog channel to the main channel because what? Big switch. Big switch. So we were just talking about like campfire stories. You you can't make this up right now. Oh, f come on. First off, something was literally right now. Yeah, right behind Something was right me. behind you. Camera, look at this. Nothing in the tent, right? Open the tent. Just to. Nothing, just our stuff. Nothing over here, nothing. I didn't like that. Fuck. And right when we mention it, Ben, yeah. rain starts, completely stops. I know. How about that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, we were talking about, like, to, to put it in perspective, when I was younger, I had the Islam version of an exorcism, basically. And that whole story will be over on the vlog channel, but while we were talking about that, talking about things, having some beers... Um, that happened Yeah. as if like steps were right behind Ben and then a voice across the pond. Yeah. So now might not be a bad time to pull out the spirit box. What do you think? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it from the phone. So alrighty. So Necrophonic is loaded. Uh, we're going to be using this as a spirit box first and then we're going to make our way up. Obviously different tools, different, you know, whatever we have at our disposal. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Jazz or Yasko. Call me whatever you please. I'm Ben. And we are trying to communicate with the spirits here. Uh, potentially, maybe someone who was in the era during the witch, you know, instances. And, yeah. you know, if you were unfortunately- The Salem witch trials. Yeah, or yeah. whoever was standing behind the tent earlier, there, yeah, that, making that the sounds in the pond. Or if there's something not so. Yeah. You know friendly mm -hmm. that would like to communicate with us too we're we're open we're open so here we go hello hello who was that that said hello to us laura 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 okay laura nice to meet you um hey hey laura um Laura, did you pass during the witch instances? Uh, yeah, it was like a, like a sassy yes. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry to hear that you passed during 
such a terrible time, Laura. How did you pass? What'd she say? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, that first part yeah. was very clear. I didn't hear it though. I'm okay. gonna have to rewatch this. But that last part, it sounded like I said, to make it look good. What does that mean? I don't know. That was like, to make it look good. And it all sounds like the same voice. I think we have something here. I think we could really connect to this mm -hmm. Laura person. <laughs> hey, Laura, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, sorry, I like froze up there for a second. Yeah. Laura, um... What happened to you, Laura? Were you maybe a part of the Salem? The, the, are we a part of the witch trials? Trials? Laura, were you killed? Did say drown? Uh, I thought I heard not mine. Great then. Wait. Told you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so Nama is supposedly uh, the name of the demon, the demon witch that like cursed this land. Yeah. You sure you want to head start again? <laughs> Laura, is that you speaking to us or is that Nama? Is it is. Which one is it? Is it a Laura? No. Nama, is this you with us right now? That's literally why we call this place Devil's Forest, because it hurts. I just want to know what happened to Laura. How did Laura pass? Drown. Laura, did you drown in the pond behind me? Shut up, shut up. Okay, that was... Uh, hold on, hold on. What? Bro. I'm freaking out right now. Holy shit, you good? Yeah. Here. Bro, we heard drown, Laura. I asked if Laura drowned. It sounded like, like a I shriek, yeah. like a cry for help mm -hmm. from this area. Oh my god. Someone's partying here. Oh yeah. So it's pretty shallow here, but it gets deeper and deeper. Yeah. Alright. Should we continue? So so. <laughs> Laura, was that you who screamed? Hey. Hey. Who was that? Was that Laura or was that somebody else? Leave. Okay. 
been such a bad feeling right now, bro. Me too. Get out. Go. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why? Why do you want us to leave? Laura, we're trying to just understand what happened to you, Laura. Who, who, who drowned you? Look how the mist is like above the pond. I know. So freaky. In your sleep. <laughs> okay. No. Hey man, you wanna get in the tent? Maybe. So, I'll tell you guys what's going on. I talked to the other channel. Basically, I had, I, I had like the Islam version of an exorcism when I was younger, and it all st it was it's a huge huge story. I explained it over on the second channel, but basically it started with night terrors. At the age of nine, I was having these vivid vivid dreams, nightmares of everyone close to me, family, friends being brutally murdered. Like I'm I'm talking like, you know, hands around their necks, guns necks slitting yep. their like. Um, the most extreme things you could think of. I was nine years old at the time. All I watched as a kid was Disney Channel, like Chip and Dale, and Shil literally that was my favorite show when I was a kid. Care Bears. I was. I never watched anything like that. Right. Those dreams, those like night terrors. I had to go see someone specific to like help me. It's, and the thing is, for that to be that vivid and say something like that after weird. we just experienced it you know Ben what come here right across the river right there does that not look like someone literally just standing staring at us Or is it gone? <sighs> it's gone. Am I seeing things? Did you see that? You hear that? No, man. I'm second guessing the Ouija board now. But you ever get those comments that are like Ghost, it goes like hunters who go and they experience something that they're literally looking for and they run away. We're not gonna run away. We're gonna push this. Crazy thing, it's only 8 p.m. <laughs> I know. Dude, what the hell? Those answers that scream everything okay what do you think so far definitely getting i, I was surprised getting activity out in the woods i didn't so, think that would actually work here's the thing we filmed all sorts of videos over here like different types of videos and all this stuff and usually we experience some things that we don't know whether it's people or you know so we do hear lots of screams and stuff too, now that I think about it. You do. And it's like, oh shit, was that, you know? Yeah. Remember when we heard like something behind us at one point? Should we maybe check down We here? went down there earlier, let's check again. Yeah, let's check again. Just on the off chance that maybe like, I'll continue asking questions just because that one was very personal to me. Oh, 
Hi, right, we're back. Hello. Thank you for the warm welcome. We want to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, Laura or whoever else is here who knows clearly a lot behind you. I didn't like that. That was clear as day behind you. What's behind us? Or both. Demon. Is the demon that's behind us right now, is that Nama? Do you want to hurt us? I do. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why do you want to hurt us? We did nothing to you. both of us and remember earlier I said two so two people want to hurt us Laura do you want to hurt us why jazz something seems like it's personal to me almost yeah. sleep bro what the f like, what the f***? That's weird. It's literally all happening. Like, I just poured my heart out to you guys, like, over on the second channel. Just told you all this stuff. And it's like, they're literally using it, like, against me right now. Like, they're using my own fears. Like, my biggest thing that I've, like, went through, like, against me right now. I feel like we shouldn't have told that story here. No, not... <sighs> you actually... You know what I'm really scared of now? Like, I'm really scared to, like, potentially sleep here tonight. Like, go to sleep. Like, what? what? You know what I mean? I know. It's telling us to go to sleep. Hey, really? It's telling us to go to bed. It's a little early for that. Eight o'clock. Uh, I get cold, bro. I get sleepy. I could pass out in, like, ten minutes of evening. Why do you want us to go to sleep? It's tempting, but why? Can you say that again? Why do you want us to go to sleep? I mean, a couple more beers after this one, Ben. Yeah. I'll be on. Feel that. The fuck was that? I don't know. That sounded like it said something in. Really? Do you I don't want to say. I don't want to say what it, I think it just said. Okay. I, I, okay. And that's what's freaking me out even more right now. I'm like freaking out now. What do you want to do? I think I'm going to ask one last question. And this will determine if what we're experiencing is... Is it? Like personally, yeah. Does it snow? No. It's like... 
ghost goo or something. <laughs> Why do you want me to go to sleep tonight? Are you going to hurt me when I sleep tonight? Alright, we're going to head back towards the tent. We're going to see if maybe we'll just, I don't know, we'll relax in the tent for a bit, kind of ease our minds. But I just have one last question. What? Well, my last question right now, Jazz, hello. My last question is, why do you want me to sleep? Can you repeat that? Why do you want me to go to sleep? All right guys, so we just walked down this trail. We're headed back to the tent now, but honestly, now we're not getting much. Um, it's been about 15 minutes since we started walking on the trail, not much. Um, I'm just really freaked out about the thing about the dream stuff and the sleep stuff, just based on what we were talking about earlier, you know? Yeah. It's a little freaky. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it really is, once you really put things into perspective, I really just like poured my heart out over there and then I really wish I didn't, but we're gonna go into the tent Relax a little bit, ease our minds, have a beer maybe. <laughs> and um, once we feel a little bit better, maybe we'll pull out some more equipment, spear yeah. box, uh, or maybe the Ouija board. I, I don't know about that one. We'll see what happens. We'll see. And um, yeah, but. So here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. But some of the things that we've heard, and it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Maybe, what do you think about this? Cause you said you're tired, right? I am. All right, so what if we connected the night vision camera to the generator? Okay. And it's on a continuous, so it's just going to keep recording all night. Yeah. And um, what if we had it recording us? We took a nap. I put an alarm for 3 in the morning. Devil's hour, mm -hmm. right? We come out, we film from 3 to 4. Okay. And yeah. then whatever happens, happens, right? Perfect. Let's do it. If anything happens until then, obviously, but... Yeah. Man, this place is freaky. I hate bro. this place so much. Oh my god. But we're men's of our words. We are. <laughs> we said we were gonna do this. We did. Here we are. So. Alrighty, here we go. Alright guys. We're gonna attempt to sleep for a little bit. I'll be honest, it's probably gonna take a while, so I can't prepare it. I downloaded a bunch of games on my phone. <laughs> 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 and um yeah. Camera set up, it's hooked up. It shouldn't turn off. Maybe I'll put an alarm in like an hour or two just to make sure that it's still recording. It's still running, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, this is what we got. So, it's pretty damn cold. It's it's much warmer inside of this. The, the bag helps too, the it, sleeping bag. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely doing its job. It is. But I wish I remembered a pillow, so. <laughs> I'm, it's like in the exact same I'm thing. I'm rolling this up and laying on it like this. I'm using my arm. That's actually smart too, I guess, but... I think that's bad for you. Is it? My arm always hurts when I do that. Shit. I don't know. Well, Let me know in the comments, guys. Anyone else sleep on their arm? And use their he arm as a pillow? You, you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning, you're like, ah. <laughs> exactly. It's ah. all cramped and shit. <laughs> I'm like, ow. Um, honestly, oh, I should throw my pillow on the ground. Now this leave it. And then use my arms. It's not a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared to sleep. Yeah, that's Just, why I'm talking so much. Just, yeah, I know. We, we like to lighten the mood in scary situations. True. But this one specifically is just a little... It's a little very personal, you know? So That was crazy. Dude, the answers were insane. What if we just ask a couple questions before bed? I don't know, just like a... She's crazy mother... <laughs> I, I just... I feel like we're so close, you know? I felt that way too. That's an answer. Are you, are you gonna hurt me in my sleep tonight? I heard no. That's good. That's nice. That's are you Thank are you, you lying? That was a laugh. <laughs> that wasn't the most evil laugh, dude. <laughs> okay. 
Laura, are you still with me right now? Behind. Again. Behind again. What's behind? Laura, are you at the lake right now? What the f*** was that? <laughs> nope. Oh, f up. Yeah, Ben's out. Leave. I'd love to. We're a little too far deep for me. <laughs> All right. Well, good night. We're gonna try to sleep now. Just some random like tongue language or whatever. Just uh, <laughs> sleep, child. Oh, we're fucked. All right. Well, that's just fun. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm gonna set my alarm for three in the morning. It's funny enough that I actually have alarms already set for 3 in the morning, just because... <laughs> you already have it, like, preset? You yeah, just gotta yeah. turn it on. Well, like, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 3.15, <laughs> 3.20, 3.30. They should, that's how it should come sat in the phone, bro. Honestly. I don't want to add it. Just 2.30. All right. They're added. Perfect. Let me just make sure everything's recording. I'm not going to lie. Minus all the scary shit, I'm low-key comfy right now. Honestly, it's not that bad. I'm going to sleep on my hat. Oh, that's going to be well, all right, Ben. All right. I'll well, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> Night, bro. Night. I'm playing Candy Crush. Just the f*** out. You <laughs> look at me like surprised. You're like, oh, what's wrong? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Alright, back to... Sorry. I'll turn my sound You're good, on. you're good. I've been stuck on this one level for like weeks. Oh. Did you just turn this on? I tried to shut it off. You realize we left our boots outside, right? They're, they're like soaked. Oh, God. <clears throat> Do you want to go check it out? Uh, I guess. Hold on. I gotta get. It's so cold. Time is up.
1203. Yeah, we actually slept for a couple hours. You sure you heard something? I, on my life, it woke me up. Unless I, was a, maybe it was a dream? I don't have dreams, really. All right, hold on. Let me get the other camera. All right, <sighs> All right so I'm going through the footage of what just happened and the sounds that Ben heard. I, I can't believe I heard that. Or didn't hear that, I mean. Yeah. And I'm sure loud. all you guys back home heard it because that was pretty damn loud just mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. And you know what's the craziest part, Ben? You reacted to it like instantaneously. It woke me up immediately. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. Were you having like a bad dream or something? No, but I was worried about tonight. I'll look, spend the night look here. Look at this. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, we have to go check it out. We have to. Do we have to? Um, probably. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Cause Cause I know. What if, like, the sounds we heard earlier weren't paranormal? What if... It was a scream, like a cry for help or something. You're right, this place has... At the same time, mm -hmm. if it's paranormal, that was a very... Of course, it has to just start raining. raining. It's very selective, I've noticed. It is. It sounded like it was... Where? Behind you or to the side or something? This way. Oh my god, the boots are soaked, bro. Uh. One sec, I'll, come, I'll grab that. Okay. Trying to see if there's anything like out of the ord. God, it's much colder. Hey Ben. What? What's that doing? I put it in here. I remember. I literally put it in that pocket in here. That was not out when we were just. No, it wasn't. How the how do we not hear that? Maybe I don't know. I'll see you with the camera, but yeah, I know. I feel like I'm stepping in something about this pond is freaking me the hell out. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm going to turn up the ISOs a bit. Out there. Thank you. 
I don't know, bro. This is freaky on another level. I'm just trying to see something here. Can you hold this for a second? I'm trying to see if or anything. There's like footsteps or anything. But you said it sounded like... It sounded like someone jumped in the water. From what I heard on the camera, it kind of sounds like that. Or something being thrown in the water. Mm -hmm. What I'm wondering right now is if what we heard, was it like... Wait, that? Maybe, was this thrown by each other? Was this here before? I don't remember. I, that could have been that, in the fire. It looks like it, yeah. But that wouldn't have made that loud of a sound. How right? wet is it? Oh, no, that, no, 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 no. That's been soaking in there for a minute. That's not it. Yeah, we would have seen that white water right there. Mm -hmm. My question is, do you see any of that white water anywhere? Like, to make like a mist or something like that? I don't. It was like 10 minutes ago now, though. I don't know if it would still be there. Even if it, even if someone did throw shit. But look. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is hanging out. I don't know, bro. This is so freaky. This is like... Something I've never experienced. Man, it's almost like we're, we keep being like drawn to this pond for some reason. This lake, I mean, I, I call it a pond, but this is literally a lake. It goes, it stretches pretty far. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you think? I don't know. Damn. Probably know it could have been on the other side of the, the Ouija river. Though. That I don't. I haven't even thought about that yet. I haven't. I can't think of why that was there. That sounds like a shriek. Pretty far in the distance, though. I would say it was a, a bird, but it's nighttime, so that doesn't make sense. So, not even that. It's just like it sounded very similar to the thing we heard earlier. I know for sure. Mm-hmm. Dead fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how the fog is like coming towards us now. Yeah. You see that? It was going the other way earlier. Mm -hmm. Now it's literally coming straight towards it's us. It's pouring towards us. The white water is still there. What do you want to do? I'm just curious now because like I'm wondering now, like did something or someone jump in the water? Cause that sounded. It sounded like from it. the camera alone. It sounded loud. It, it wasn't loud enough to wait. I'm a heavy sleeper though. And and the whole thing with the Ouija board. I'm only wondering right now is maybe maybe I did leave it out. But the thing is, I don't remember <laughs> doing. I don't. That. I mean, I guess it's possible. I remember you sliding into the thing. I mean, would have definitely heard that, bro. We were gonna play with it, so maybe you took it out before we went in, and then I don't know. Are we gonna use it now then? The Ouija board that moved from the camp to the. But maybe it was me. I can't remember. If it was you, listen. I'm not. Yeah, let's do it. It's. Ah. When in Rome, right? I guess. When yeah, went in the Devil's Forest, bro. <laughs> we'll paint right. the tent. Let's get this set up. Um. We want to play down by the river. Maybe we should. Maybe we should play here. Right here? Have it, camera set towards the river. And, um, cause that way we could set it up and everything. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. That's all right, right, guys. So, all right, we're gonna set this up right now. Give us a minute or two just to get the camera ready and everything. And then we're gonna try the Ouija board, to see right. what happens. So. Then we're going back to sleep, right? Probably not, I'll be honest with you. But. <sighs> all right. You doing this, Ben? Yeah, we are. Well, we've played the Ouija board before, yeah. and we have had we've had good experiences. We've had bad experiences, and um, let me back up a little bit. And uh, I'm hoping this is one of those good experiences where maybe we could get like a good, you know, answer to mm -hmm. what's going on and all the sorts. Uh, so. 
here's the thing about Ouija boards. Uh, people are gonna say, you know, there's certain ways to play them, stuff like that. There is there is a set of rules you gotta follow, but at the same time, uh, things are like, everything in life is like a math question, right? Numerous ways to solve it, mm -hmm. uh, whatever way you decide to do it, whatever way works best for you. Mm -hmm. The way we found success is the way we play it. We're gonna try it again. And uh, we're gonna see if we could communicate with maybe Laura. It'd be great if, to see if we could, you mm -hmm. know, because especially after the whole pond thing. Yeah, yeah. You ready? <sighs> I say 10 minutes max. Okay. Cool with that? Yeah. Cool. There we go. Two fingers each. Mm -hmm. And we start off with the opening of the gate. It's not too late to say goodbye, you know? It's not too late to go home. It's too late to apologize. Great, great song. Some sounds right when we open this gate. Yeah. Thunder. All right on cue. Perfect. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> what's our first question? Holy shit. I feel like we just let... I don't know why. Usually, like, when I do these, I could sense immediately whether or not, like, something good or something bad came out. Mm -hmm. I feel like we just let something really bad out. Yay us. <laughs> Go team. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Go Benko. <laughs> All right. Um, is there any spirit that would like to communicate with us via this Ouija board? Should I ask maybe? Maybe it likes you. Sure it is there any spirits with us tonight? Nice. Great. Okay. Um, I could, maybe you should ask the questions. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Spirit? What's your name? N. A. A. M. A. Um. H. Na. Ma. So, do you want to go? I mean, I guess I could give it a shot. Um, nah, ma, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Um, oh man, I don't know what to say. Is Laura here with us? Is she okay? No. Okay. Well, I got my first answer, and I got one too. Um, where is she? Where is Laura? Is she okay? L. K E Lake Okay Okay 
tearing up right now. What? I'm like tearing up right now. Give me such bad vibes right now, mm -hmm. dude. Nah, ma, like. Nah, ma. Did you hurt Laura? No. How old was Laura? Could you tell us that information? Let's see if we could, you know. Connect with Laura a little bit. Three. Zero. Thirty. She said that earlier. Remember? Yeah, I do remember that. Oh yeah. my god, she said that earlier. Holy shit. Okay, put that back up there. Um. Well then. This is a little much. So Laura was thirty. She's in the lake, apparently. And Nama didn't do it. So, okay. But she's not okay. So do you want to ask, maybe, or do you want me to ask? Maybe not this one. We are you thinking the same thing? All right, Nama. Who hurt Laura? Or, yeah, who hurt Laura? D E. M. Oh my god. O. N. Demon. Demon hurt Laura. Oh! 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 oh sh oh my yeah, god! Camera. Yeah! Holy. Oh! Oh no. Oh, Bro, it's so blurry right now. Bro, my camera's so blurry right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I think... What the hell? What is going on right now? I don't know. Oh, Ben. Yeah? You are so blurry right now, bro. Uh, I literally can't see. Bro, you were just like... Hold on. That's better, I suppose. What is going on? Is it zoomed in? Did it zoom in? Check up the autofocus. It's on, it's on autofocus. What the fuck? How did that fall? It was on top of that box, on top of that. Uh -huh. There's no wind, though. Bro, I can't see anything right now. Focus. Focus. Bro, I'm so freaked out right now. You were literally like a ghost. Oh, God. Well, I don't want to say that, but... Yeah. I'm trying like all these different settings on my camera right now. Um, am I like this too? Whoa. Oh no. What happened, bro? Did it break the lens? It landed on the lens, but like, there's no way it broke, right? Oh, fuck, oh my oh. god. Or was it like a. I don't know what's going on. Try shutting it off, turning it back on. Okay. Oh my god, all these rocks and stuff. I think I might have. Is it any better? It looks a lot better, dude. Does it really? It does. I, there's like no explanation to that, bro. So here's the thing. Yes, I know, I, I don't have a tripod, but what I did was I had the camera right on here, and look how the box is indented. Right, so if anything, it, was, it would go. Like, bro, in. Look. You, I know. Demon, the last thing it said. Right and it now, flew forward like that too. Exactly how you just yeah. did it. That's how it looked on our end. I don't know, man. I think I want to get rid of this Ouija board. Yeah? I say we bury it. I'm dead serious. One of the things that my family's told me what they did and got rid of like what they mm -hmm. experienced was they dug a hole and buried it and buried it and once again there's many reasons some people say to burn it which i don't ever recommend by the way don't ever ever do that yeah and i've heard from a lot of people that burying it is and away from the planchette which first of all should probably and then um we bury 
yeah them separately so they'll never come in contact again hopefully hopefully um so let's go do that and i think of one spot the that mud hell a hole over there yeah let's be perfect You good? You good? Oh. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I feel like fucking shit right now. You want me to bury it? Man, I can bury it. When you get back to the tent and it's like warm up or something, I'll bury it. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, Ben. You eat anything bad, or what do you have to eat today, bro? Uh, gas station food. Ah, that'll do it. Well, that all makes sense. This is all within character. <laughs> this all makes sense. <sighs> no, dude, I feel so weak right now. Why don't you hold the camera? I'll, I'll dig it. You sure? Yeah. I'm gonna use the, probably use the board. Yeah, I would. I saw something. Times like this, I wish we had a shovel. I know. Oh, man. There, can you put the light over here? Yeah, sorry, sorry. sorry. Here, let me help you. What is that? That's trash. Oh. And glass. Oh yeah, be careful with your hands then. Okay, so. Um listen, we did our best. Yeah. We don't have a shovel, we have our hands, we have our feet, yeah. and that's it. What hands the hell, Ben? What? What? That's the same damn Oh. Something's from this lake, bro. Something is... Bro, can we go back? Fuck. I'm sick of this fucking place. I don't like this place, bro. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sleep here. I know. I don't know about you, bro. But. What? I need a damn monster. Um. Shit. Okay, guys. You good? Yeah, man. I just truly don't feel good. Um, we're walking down this trail right now. We're just, we just figured we'd... Here I'll type this shit right now. Okay. Um figured we'd uh, ask some questions while we walk and um 
So you think of maybe getting caught up a war or something, you know? Yeah. So. <sighs> Hi, is there anybody here with us right now? Laura, by any chance, are you here? I'll go. Hey, Laura, I'd like to speak to you. Yeah, it was. Alright, I'm going to a little bit. I'll just start asking questions, like, personally, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, is there anybody here with us right now? We've heard you make sounds before, we heard, we've heard voices, we've heard screams, we've heard all the sorts. Could you talk to us now? Make some sounds, make, make yourself known. Ben, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to ask, but Nama? If we're getting like mixed signals from Nama, because at times it seems like she wanted to come after us, or you, I don't know. Just look out for this here. I think this is a dead end. Yeah. Yo, Jazz, I think this is a dead end. Jazz? Yo. Jazz? Bro, where are you? What the f Guys, I... He was literally just here. Like, right here. What the f Jazz? sits back at the tent. Right? Right? Holy Jazz? Bro. This feels like it goes on forever. I don't remember walking this long. Oh my god. I didn't pass it, did I? I think it's over here. Oh, I see the light.
bro. Bro. Yo. You got. Dude. What are you doing? What are you doing on the ground? Bro. Uh, should I call for an ambulance? Bro, talk to me. Hmm. Why are you laying in the ground? Why? You... Where'd you go? Where the fuck are you? Oh. Hi everybody. I figured I'd hop on here and explain to you to the best of my ability on what happened that night because after the clip ended right there there was nothing else we filmed and a lot more happened and I, i'd rather explain to you from what ben told me and in, in his frantic panic when he did tell me and i will explain to you what happened you know once again in my best ability because a lot of what happened at that point was a blur to me i don't remember or have any memory as to why i was at the tent why I went back to the tent, why I didn't tell Ben I was going to the tent. I don't even know how I got there. Honest to God, all I remember is me and Ben walking down the trail, asking questions, and then that was it. And Ben was just, you know, in sync. He's just walking, staring at the ground, making sure he doesn't step on or in a puddle or in mud and stuff like that. And before he knew it, I was just gone. So basically ben found me and i just told him i wanted to leave so ben helped me up and then he said he was gonna go back to the campsite and basically just put the tent down quick and just grab whatever he could and bring it back to the car so ben helped me back and, you know i sat in the passenger seat ben was gonna drive and ben said he went back to the campsite now it was a while while i was just sitting there or whatever but all i see is ben running towards the car ben when he got into the car he said we just need to go now and he backed up three-point turn and just dipped ben didn't say anything to me for a while it was kind of like he was like in a shock kind of thing he just couldn't speak what he told me was frightening so he said he was putting down the tent he was literally just crumpling it up into like a big ball and he was just gonna bring it back like that right and in the moment he hears something from the lake the pond whatever you want to call it and what he said, the only way that he could describe it is as if someone came up out of the water. He, he explained it as if like someone was in the pool or in a pool and they came up from under the water. He said when he heard that, he looked over there, but he only had the little flashlight, so he couldn't really see to the best of his ability. But he said he, he just like lost it. He, he dropped a bunch of stuff. We lost a lot. I will be honest. We lost a lot of stuff there but at the end of the day we made it out i don't know what the hell was going on out there i mean from hearing things like in the water while we were sleeping to hearing all sorts of things the shrieks the screams everything this was one of the craziest experiences i have ever had and personally speaking i, I don't know if i ever want to do that again filming there during the daytime or something like that maybe sure away from the pond absolutely but damn i that place when you're really looking for something like that it's nuts and like i said i filmed here in the past numerous times and I, i'll hear screams i'll hear stuff like that and i always wondered to myself was that normal or paranormal really if you guys want to see more types of videos like this like i said smash the like button we're gonna have to prepare for this for a while i don't know if i'll even be able to convince ben to do something like this again and i can't even believe that i'm even considering doing something like this again but definitely not there that's for certain but man i can wholeheartedly say this was one of if not the most terrifying night of my entire life hands down